Hello, Barrett Ersick here. Talk to you about a tip of the month from Holganix. You know, has anybody noticed it's been a crazy season this year weather-wise? I mean, parts of the country have had excessively warm winters. Uh, you know, I know in the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, we, we saw almost no snow this year. Um, yet, you know, come late, late uh, April, parts of Pittsburgh actually had snow. But yeah, they didn't have any all winter. So what the heck has happened? It's just a really weird year. One of the weirdest years I've seen since I've been in this industry. Uh, so what's going to happen this summer? You know, probably nobody really knows the truth. But I bet you in some areas we're going to have crazy amounts of rain and in other areas we're going to have droughts. And it's just going to continue to be this weird pattern of unexpected weather conditions. If we do get a drought, you know, what can we do for our lawns to make sure that they can survive a drought condition or excessive moisture? Um, and, and come out thriving and do the best we can for our clients. Well, let's think about drought because that's the most severe. You know, hopefully we don't get a drought this summer, but if we do, what can we do to prepare our lawns? Root systems, roots. Roots is the most important thing we can do for a lawn to help prepare it for a drought condition. Think about it. The first three inches of the soil dry out first. You know, if we can get a good 10 inch root, if we get a deep, thick root system that goes deep into the soil, there'll be more moisture available for those plants. The root acts as a wick, and the deeper we can get that wick, the more chance that root's going to have to get some moisture and survive through a drought situation. If we can get a deep root system, the lawn will stay greener longer into the drought. It'll also recover from the drought much healthier. You know, the other problem that happens when the lawn goes dormant in a drought situation, let's face it, dormant lawns aren't necessarily a bad thing. That's a defense mechanism. The lawn's running out of water, so it goes to sleep. It shuts down chlorophyll production, and it goes brown. While it's under dormant uh, conditions, though, often we'll get problems from insects or disease or fungus problems that aren't apparent to us because Let's face it, we know we have a problem with a disease because we see brown spots. If the whole lawn's brown, we don't always know we have an active disease problem. And so how do we protect our lawn when it goes into drought uh, to make sure that if we do get some disease issues, we, we give the best defenses we can for the turf? You know, one of the best ways that we can help protect our lawns um, from drought conditions, stimulate deep, thick root system, I like to use beneficial fungi like a mycorrhizae. Uh, Holganix has mycorrhizae in it, and mycorrhizae is one of the best things we can do to help stimulate a good root development in our lawns. So using Holganics will help your lawn prepare it for the dormant conditions uh, of a drought. In addition, if you use a good uh, bio-stimulant, bio-nutritional product like Holganics, but there's other ones available as well, that help improve the biology in your soil, help improve the overall health of the plant through natural means, we'll get a lot, of, uh, a lot less disease, a lot less fungus issues. We can even use botanical extracts, uh, the natural uh, ways to suppress insects, things like um, melaleuca oil or cedar oil that can actually uh, keep the insect activity low in a drought condition. So if we go in in the early part of the summer with a, with a good uh, bio-nutritional product like Holganics to stimulate root development, give us natural suppression against disease and insects, it's not going to be a miracle, it's not going to stop everything from... Uh, from hurting our plants, but it'll give us a couple of more layers of defense against crazy weather patterns that we're going to see this summer. And by the way, if it ends up being excessively wet, we've got disease problems for the opposite reasons, and it's still a good idea to, uh, to apply a good bio-nutritional product like Holganics to help protect that lawn naturally against disease issues. Uh, so that concludes my tip for today. Hopefully we have a beautiful, wonderful summer, and we, this crazy weather pattern is just done. But just in case, you might want to be prepared for extremely wet or extremely dry or extremely something because I think this is the year of extremes. I hope you're doing extremely well with your business, growing it like crazy. Uh, growing your business and growing your lawn is what we're passionate about. So if we can help you with any of that, uh, please look us up at Holganics and uh, stay tuned next month for our tip on how to help you continue to grow grass and grow your business better. This is Barrett from Holganics. Talk to you later.